Good morning world from Shargao Island here in the Philippines. We're about to have breakfast. Actually, we've decided that today we are gonna spend a whole 24 hours, a full day, just eating Filipino food. So we've done our research. We're looking around to find places that serve the best stuff. It's a bit tricky for us because we are a vegan family, which means we don't eat meat, fish, or any dairy products. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but we'll do it. What would you like to say? I wanted to say that we are going to find a shop for vegan food. Yeah, let's go now. <laughs> but while we've been skipping down the road, our food has already arrived. Yeah, look at this. So this is the tocino, which is normally made with pork. Mine. This is made with some kind of soy protein, oh rice and a salad. Story has got an ube latte. That looks delicious, doesn't it? I'm going to drink all of it. Delicious. This is interesting. This is uh, lang, which is kind of like a Filipino spinach, but it's been made into a spread to go on some toast. I can hear Story slurping over there. How's the how's your little ube latte? Is it tasty? Good. Good stuff. It's fun to get all the all the prettiness away. You're mixing it in, yeah. So I can have it light. I see. Light purple. This is like a mongo guacamole. And this, I believe, is like Chinese spinach, which has been fried with, well, that looks like crispy garlic, doesn't it? Or crispy onions. Mm. That looks really good, actually. Yeah. It's funny, because when you've been living in Asia for some time, this kind of savoury breakfast is very normal to us. Yeah. But if I was to show this kind of food to my British family at breakfast time, they'd be like, what? This is the kind of thing you have for dinner. <laughs> the kind of thing you'd have for like a very late lunch, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This has a really interesting flavour. It's kind of like a cured bacon with sugar and garlic and salt and pepper. It's good. On the menu here you can see how they've made that tocino. It's marinated seitan with soy sauce, calamansi juice, beetroot and served with red rice. And this is this restaurant's take on the Filipino taho, which is like tofu, which is soaked in milk and it has tapioca pearls in it. it looks good, doesn't it? Silk and tofu and tapioca. That's right. So we tried to make it our house. Yes, we so did. So we'll see how different this is. I'm sure this is going to be a million times better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It is nicer. Mm -hmm. It's much nicer. Having the fruits in there as well really like takes it up a level. Tell me what you think. Is it better than your Tahoe? Mm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Much nicer. Yeah. It's yummy still. Mm. Remember, we tried to make them at home. This is nicer than yes, what we made. Nicer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right, we've just come a little bit further into General Luna. We're going to get some panda cocoa, one of our favorite Filipino snacks here on the island. Sometimes they have like a kind of milky glaze on the outside, but this place does them vegan. It's actually cooked with the coconut shells as well. We discovered this pretty much when we first arrived in Shargao. One of the best. I love them. Oh, that is baking hot, isn't it? Yeah, they're always so hot, so fresh. <laughs> nice. Give us a look at one of these panda cocos. It's so hot. Too, too hot, hot to hot handle. To handle. <laughs> yeah. Look, there we go. Oh, so is, it, is it too hot to rip open? Yeah. I want to show you. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll eat it later with the coffee. Yeah. Okay. And we'll show you a proper look at these panda yeah. cocos. <laughs> wow. Such a good swimmer. I already put Bella. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> all right, don't laugh too much. We'll swallow all the water. So we're back at the art hotel, enjoying a little swim and a cool off before we head out for some lunch later. We couldn't let the day go by without letting Story have another swim. Way, mummy's in. <laughs> Whoa, that was fast. It's the fastest swim I've ever seen you do. That's really good. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! It's a real race. <laughs> Don't cheat. You cheater. <laughs> God, you're building up your appetite for later. Mummy wins. <laughs> 
comes the ice cream man. We're just walking down to lunch now. Yeah, I think it's down this way. It's difficult to get my bearings now because we're always driving everywhere, aren't we? Yeah. I don't normally come out of that road. Here, found it. Through the trees. Bright pink restaurant. Cosmic Chargao. All right, so this is what we're going for. We ordered one kare kare with bagnet, sinigang, and the Filipino mummy Russian mushroom soup, that one. Yeah, that's um, still we request that one. Yep, <laughs> and also we got some tofu skin, and it's some babu isao, and longanisa, yeah. and lumpiang shanghai. Yeah, we did. Yep, so we've got quite a few things coming. Have, yeah, have yeah. a bit of a taste of everything. Lots we've of Filipino got, food. Yeah, we've also got some lemongrass iced tea, and some cucumber lemonade. Yeah. To go with it. I should disclose this is a fully vegan restaurant yeah. so even though it's all Filipino food and yeah. everything kind of looks like meat it's not yeah, so it's really really cool <laughs> yeah we did our research before coming here yeah. and it is very special so we'll show you the food when it comes mm, yeah. story is already digging into the tofu skin how does it taste They're burning delicious burning delicious yeah. <laughs> this is what the food looks like a little starter it was only 50 pesos as a drink mm. So this right here is the curry curry, which is a peanut sauce with what looks like pork belly, but it's actually tofu belly. Bagnet. <laughs> bagnet, yeah, that's <laughs> what the bagnet is. Yeah. And this here is longanisa, which is like a kind of Filipino sausage. This is the sinigang soup, which is a sour soup with vegetables, and that is... This is Joey's Filipino ramen. Oh yeah, the mummy ramen. The mummy ramen, yeah. <laughs> I've got it out for you. We also have the lumpias over there, or the lumpiang, and the isao, which is looks like in, looks like intestines, doesn't it? Really, <laughs> that looks really nice. Mm, I guess full yummy. of vegetables and so pr soy proteins. You want to try the lumpia? Is it hot? Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. You like it, yeah. Real mm, yummy inside. Yeah, that looks good. It's weird to see that go in your mouth. <laughs> I know, it feels a bit weird too. It's got a really nice like, barbecue-y, very saucy. You're going to taste the curry curry? Yeah, I'm excited to try this because we haven't had it yet. And it's something that I think that I would like because it's a peanutty sauce. Yeah, the usual curry curry is peanut based but it's also got beef stock, stock and entrails in it. Yeah. So this one is a vegan version. Mm. It tastes like satay sauce, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so nice. Like a, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Like a massive bowl of satay. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. How's the mushroom mummy story? Is it good? Mm, Do you like it? Mushroom yeah. Mummy. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's called a mummy ramen. Nice. <laughs> Does it get a thumbs up? Yeah. Oh, he gets a double thumbs up, yeah? <laughs> Excellent. Right, Jay's gonna go in to try the Sinigang now. Something we haven't had for ages, isn't it? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sour. Yeah? Yeah. Good yeah, it's, though? It's refreshing because yeah. some of these are quite like strong flavours. Yeah. yeah. It's good to have the sour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joey's gonna try the Sinigang now. Just a little. All right, Story's gonna lick the Sinigang. <laughs> <laughs> Is it nice? Maybe we can go like this. Okay, have, have the spoon then and see how if it does, see if it works. <laughs> Is it sour? <laughs> yeah, I love the spoon, I like it. Oh, spoon. I you, the mushroom. you like that better than the mushroom? Wow, okay. <laughs> We've both said that this mushroom ra ma mami, mushroom ramen is so delicious. Jay's now having a go at the uh, seitan yeah. steak that it's it so comes weird. with it. It's so weird because it, it tastes so. Like wood. It tastes so much like uh, a piece of beef that I don't think I could finish the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to it. <laughs> but the, it tastes like the flavour of the soup. Yeah. The soup is really good. It's a really it good is. mushroom soup. The staff just brought us a little gift, didn't they? That was very nice of them. Vegan chocolate brownie. What do you think? How does it taste? I like the sauce. Yeah? Is it chocolatey? Yeah. Do you want to give it a go? There's a fork there. Dig into the cake. Okay, give it a go. Good chocolate? Right, now do it properly. Whoa! That was a big piece of brownie. You love mint, don't you? 
All right, we are finished at Cosmic and Jay actually hasn't had a coffee today. So we're gonna just do another little walk along and see if we can find a good Filipino coffee, yeah, right? Using power. <laughs> A very short walk from Cosmic is Hub Hub. This is recently opened again and we haven't tried it yet, so here we are. I am getting the iced coffee, a black Americano. Jay's gone for a straight up espresso <laughs> and still is sitting in the plants. His coffee machine is better than ours. <laughs> it looks a lot better than our one. Yeah. <laughs> we just asked the beans come from Bukidnon. Yeah. Arabica. So yeah. That'd be good. This is the little cafe we're sitting at today. I think it's quite new actually because I've not noticed it here before. It's right in the heart of General Luna. <laughs> Alright, this is looking good. Check this out. My Filipino espresso. I love this cup actually. Yeah, it's lovely. Do they have those cups at her school? Oh, do you? Like a coat? Yeah, a little. <laughs> this is a real cup still, look, it's metal. Yes. But you use them for your play, do you? Yeah, at, at, at Forest School. Yeah. They're playing. Oh, I see. And some of the kids say that they're cuppies. Cuppies, yeah? <laughs> okay, I'll call it a cuppy. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a go. <laughs> Not again. Nice. This tastes like the coffee we make at home. We normally get Mount Apo beans, don't we? But the Bukidnon beans are really good. Actually, we did buy coffee from Bukidnon once, didn't we? It's good. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you so much. Some soy milk for story. Oh. Okay, I've had my coffee charge. I'm just whizzing back to the car so we can drive Story to her yoga lesson by the beach. Before we came here to Shargao, one thing we didn't know about was Filipino coffee. We didn't know it was even a thing here, but there are many places where they do grow their own beans here in the high altitude areas. They've got Arabica, they've even got Robusta, and they're really good. One of our favorites is Mount Apo, and also Bukidnon is a bit of a rising star. We have tried beans from there, and I don't even hear in the Philippines, not many people know the standard of the Bukidnon bean. So it's going to be making a name for itself here. The coffee is good. The story's yoga lesson by the sea has begun, and we are going to chill out outside, wait for it to finish. It feels like a whole day has passed since we bought those panda cocos this morning. <laughs> I know, it, it does. It was like a really long day, but they're still in the bag and we are going to eat them now while we're resting. All oh, the boat's about to cut our heads off. <laughs> it's why I just came right down. This is supporting a whole boat, watch. I can actually pull it towards me with a bit of a tug. Are they cool enough to handle now? <laughs> it's been half <laughs> I a day. I hope so, it's been a few hours. <laughs> let's see, right, ready? Yeah, let's have a look at the inside of this bad boy. All right, so these are made with coconut milk, flour, and there's coconut shreds in there from the fresh coconut sugar. Like a little sugar. coconut jam inside. Yeah. Like and a kind of a donut. Yeah. Not sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's lovely. These are the best ones actually. We did buy some from a few bakeries when we went to Mindanao, yeah. didn't we? And they all had that kind of eggy glaze on the top. Yeah. So the fact that these ones are just like, they're satin finish, aren't they? <laughs> They've got a little bit of flour on them. It is, satin finish. Yeah. <laughs> It's matte, more isn't it? Not matte. matte. Yeah, matte. Yeah, matte finish. It is more bready than it is donutty. Right, bunches. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so good. Mm. Just a perfect snack. And they're so cheap as well. They're only five pesos each. This is one of those things that I would miss from the Philippines if we left here. I'd be like, oh, do you remember those panda cocos by the church in Shargao Island? I wonder if it's a. If you can get them like this elsewhere. I don't know. Or if it is an island thing. I think it might be island specific, you know. But yeah. we can always try when we go travelling around. Yeah. A little while has passed, sun has set, and we are back at the Art Hotel. And look what has happened. Story and Daddy have just collected a food delivery. The dinner is here. Let's show you what we got. Yeah. So we thought we would have dinner at home tonight yeah. and just really chill out <laughs> at home. Yeah, when you eat dinner. out three times a day, yeah. it's, it feels a bit excessive, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you just want to get cosy now. Yeah. <laughs> Our last meal of the day and of course we're sticking with the theme. We ordered some Filipino food for dinner as well. You're going to help open the boxes, Story? I'm going to open all of them. Oh, okay. 
In this box we have vegan chicken adobo. Adobo is the description of the flavour, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's the sauce, I believe. Yeah. So it's a very popular dish in it the is. Philippines, adobo. So there's a lot of restaurants here on the island that specialise in different kind of mock meats, which makes Filipino food easier to replicate. And I have to say, in recent years, mock meats have become a lot more realistic. Yeah. Because <laughs> in the past they were quite gross, but this actually is quite you know sometimes you just can't tell yeah and, and this, this one, one is a vegan sisig which i've actually had before and it is really really tasty yeah they've done well with the flavoring and the spices yeah. on these and of course rice is life you know the <laughs> staple <laughs> of all <laughs> filipino dishes yeah and story has decided that she wants some spiced popcorn <laughs> which came from the same restaurant we ordered from <laughs> yeah is it spicy or not no not spicy no Oh, yeah, that's try one. Yeah? I think they've just got a bit of salt and paprika on them, haven't yeah. they? Are they your yeah. favourite? Yeah. Filipino popcorn. Nice. To go with our dinner tonight, we brought back with us some coconut water, some buku juice, and we're all drinking that. Actually, Story's just finished hers, down the glass. Yeah. Really tasty. But on an island like this, packed with coconuts, coconut water is available everywhere, yeah. and true Filipino coconuts. Yes. Delicious. So Joe's going to go for the adobo, which is normally a kind of vinegar and soy marinade, isn't it? Yeah. Does it taste nice? You can taste the vinegar, definitely. Yeah. And garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's nice, actually. This would go well with vegetables, too, I yeah. reckon. Yeah. And I'm going to go for the sisig. So we actually asked for them both to be spicy. You had the option of spicy or not spicy. Actually, my one's not spicy at all. Really? Yeah, so maybe they just put it all in yours. Oh, okay. How is your sisig? Nice. Is it spicy? It is. I can look, chilies. Oh, yeah. Chili. That so, what other flavours can you it's taste in there? Peppery. It's Black nice and peppery. Soy. Must be marinated in soy to give it this colour. But I like the added kick with the chilli. Yeah. That's nice. I think when I imagine Filipino food, I don't see it as a very spicy type of food. No. Really? Like, like Thai food is really spicy, isn't it? Yeah. I've enjoyed today, actually. I thought that I would be absolutely stuffed and I would be like really feeling it. And um, I'm not, actually. It's not that heavy a food. And it is a very savoury day. I think the only sweet thing we had was the taho this morning, wasn't it? The coconut bun? Coconut buns were coconut. considered a sweetish thing, but it wasn't like super sweet. No. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. You learned something a little bit about Filipino food <laughs> and the different variants that you can get. And that even vegan people can enjoy Filipino food these days. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.